Hello, Trey. Man, when talking about lyrics, well, it's a complicated and long-term discussion, but I'm going to share a few thoughts with you uh, regarding my experiences in the field and uh, the fact that this EP that you like so much was my first uh, experience with writing lyrics that actually ended up on on songs and took a uh, queer form and went out there all in all. But uh, what you need to understand is um, you don't force things to come out. For instance, I, I wrote lyrics about things that make me either really happy or enthusiastic, either very, very sad and I need to get them out to, uh, to, to get rid of something somehow or to tell a story. I like the term of telling a story more because that's actually what, actually what you're doing through, uh, through lyrics over music. And I must admit that to my shame, um, until some time ago, I was really not interested and had no interest whatsoever in what lyrics were saying. So, um, it's a new development for me and actually I'm really I'm pretty proud that I managed to uh, overcome that silly uh, I don't care about what the lyrics are saying thing regarding music. So once you get into listening to music and not it's only instruments, lyrics are a part of it as well. Probably you, you don't have this problem but I went through it so I think it, it's rather interesting to talk about it. But anyway, uh, as I was saying, um, aside from focusing on some things that you uh, feel like writing or talking to people about in order to have a good base for your lyrics, um, use words which have a certain resonance. For instance, I chose in regard to the song, I chose some words which sound consonant with the sound of that song. I learned, actually learned, I heard about this technique from, uh, uh, what's his name? Wow, talking about a lapsus. Um, the guy from Faith No More. I, uh, I know his name, but I can't remember it right now. Anyway, he's a very great, one of the greatest vocalists around in our times, and uh, he was talking about uh, using the proper words in the, the right context in what regards the sound, not the meaning, but the sound, because the meaning gets even stronger with the sound. Try and see what sort of words fits over what sort of music. See what is the meaning of those words and how that meaning can be enhanced by the sound or the pronunciation of those words. Trust me, it's a very powerful tool. Um, do you have any lyrics so far which you have used on uh, any of your music or something that you might like to share with me? I don't know, we can uh, exchange some ideas maybe? Keep me updated, man.